What can you do to help your knee bend after you have meniscus surgery? I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and author of the book, That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. I provide education, information, and commentary on sports and exercise, injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. Knee surgery is no easy thing. Even these scopes where people go and have a meniscus tear cleaned up still take time to recover. So in this Ask Dr. Geyer video, we're going to talk about how you can get your knee bending after meniscus surgery. All right, Natasha asks, what can I do to improve the bending of my knee after partial lateral meniscectomy? I'm 12 days post-op. I'm able to fully straighten my knee, although I still walk with a limp. My knee can still only bend a maximum 90 degree angle. All right, terrific question. And I think that a lot of times you can probably get it on your own. I like to send my patients after partial meniscectomy surgery home with some exercises. And what that means is that basically through the scope, we go in and just trim out the torn part of the meniscus, um, you know, and you leave the rest to serve as a shock absorber. Usually after that, there's no restriction to your bending, but the knee's swollen, it's stiff, it hurts. So it takes a little bit of effort to work on getting the swelling down, getting your strength back and starting to bend it. But doing home exercises right away within the first day or two and doing those every day can be really helpful. I think though if you really want to speed that process up that working with a physical therapist can be extremely helpful to help you get not just your bending back but your strength back and your ability to do sports specific and exercise specific drills. So I think as soon as you can, assuming it's okay with your surgeon, not a bad idea to work with a physical therapist. I think you'll ultimately get there on your own after that surgery. I think you'll get there faster with physical therapy. All right, have you had partial meniscectomy surgery, basically trimming out a meniscus tear? How did it take, how long did it take you to recover, and what did you do to get your bending and your strength back? I'd love to hear your experience, and honestly, I think people watching this from all around the world would as well. So in the comments below this video, describe your experience. I can't answer specific questions that you leave there, but I'd love to read it so that I can learn from you and help develop content that helps helps you understand your injury a little bit better for future videos. Now, in the description below this video, at the very top, there's a link that if you click on it, it takes you to a page, asks you four or five very simple questions, takes less than a minute, and that will help me give you the number one next thing you need to do to understand and overcome your meniscus injury. So click that link at the top of the description box. I think it's really helpful. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention, subscribe to my video channel. I record several of these videos every single week. So if you click the subscribe button in the upper right corner of the page, they'll get delivered directly to you. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video was helpful if you're dealing with a meniscus tear, and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.